some other part in the genome that we have that's a... You've got a, a real and a goat. Yes, very good. So, so there's ways of kind of fixing that. So we have the DNA. We use just a sample of the two just to determine that it worked, a PCR reaction worked. So we still have some of the whole piece of two. But we don't have our little three where we know G, D, D, G, C. We still need that. So the way we do that is with another machine that we actually just got three of them, some donor bottom for us, which is awesome. We call them the two Ferraris because we buy two Ferraris with one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's a couple more steps you have to clean and kind of clean it up again. A lot of what we do in the lab is cleaning a reaction like this, getting all the excess created out of the original world experiment. So this is our stand here machine. Wow. So basically what this dude is, is analogous to the gel, where you have a, an electrical current in the gel and the DNA kind of migrates through it. In this case, we have a bunch of very thin hollow tubes or capillaries. Which are the, the two? Those, those little gold things. There's just a whole, oh, oh, whole bunch you. of them. Okay. Are they made out of gold? Or um, are they made out of copper, perhaps? I'm not sure what they're made out of, quite honestly. Might, might be, because they're horribly expensive to buy a new set of them. They look like, they look like copper. Or, uh, and that would make sense. It's for electrical yep. conducting, so that's probably copper. So there could be gold. Copper is a, yeah. They may not be made out of gold because of the fact they're sending a current through. You only want the current to go through the liquid that's in not, not through it itself. So I'm not sure. Interesting. So what happens? You take... Made by Hitachi. Huh. They're into all that. No, Hitachi. Mm -hmm. oh, was that a plate? Okay, let's find a little plate that actually goes in there. Well, anyway. 